welcome to the women's locker room. This is the Angie Weisenflu show, number one. Uh, after a big weekend, Coach Weisenflu, did you get any sleep at all? You know, I didn't get much. Uh, I, I wasn't uh, celebrating like some of the, the Lady Mountaineers were, but I was uh, planning ahead and focusing on Cascade and just sharing some special memories with my family. So not a lot of sleep, not a lot of sleep. Um, kind of recap briefly on the game. Obviously, there was a lot going on, but uh, just how big that was it? Yeah. You know, I, I can't think of uh, you know just recent memory of just how big a senior night was for us. Uh, conference conference championship on the line, and just you know how we have done so far up to that point, and the Whitney Lehman story, the Laura Olson story. And then obviously give respect to North Coast Christian. I mean, they came ready to play, and and so it, we had to we had to fight for it. And uh, so it, it was just a great night. It was just a good night. Now you mentioned uh, Whitney Lehman and Laura Olson. Was that kind of planned that they were going to come in that late, or did you just tell them to dress down just to be with the team? You know, I I, I again I, I I'm the kind of coach that I don't want to think ahead. Each time, if I think, okay, we're going to be up by 15 and they're going to go in the game, that's when you lose by six. But I just, I wanted, it started out, I just wanted to see Whitney in a uniform, to be honest with you. I just wanted to see, have her put her uniform on and be just a part of it in the locker room and then out on the court during warm-up, even if it's standing under the hoop, just for the first and last time of her career. It was the first time this year that she had put on her uniform. And so, I mean, she was she was kind of giddy and nervous, and she was just different having a uniform on coach. So, I mean, that's what it started out being. In the back of my mind, though, I, I knew if we were in a situation, I saved one time out just for that, just in case. But I didn't tell anyone. I, I didn't tell assistant coaches. I didn't tell them. I didn't tell anyone because, again, the more you talk about it, the more it's not going to happen. Well, it was quite a surprise with all the crowd, I was for sure. Uh, made for a special moment. Uh, before previewing kind of the uh, Cascade Conference Tournament coming up, we got a uh, preview we're going to start with here at Cascade College and what they bring to the table. Uh, well, I, well they, uh, they played us tough the last two times. How we have been able to beat them is getting up and down the floor, outrunning them, getting transition baskets. With our new lineup, without Laura Olsen being one of our uh, key players in that transition, it might be a little different. We're, we're, we're going to have to find a way to run. For us to beat Cascade or anyone in the palm parks from here on out, we have to get some transition baskets. And that's what made the uh, game so difficult on Saturday. I think we had uh, maybe two. And I, I kind of remember those two, but I'll, I'll give us two. But we're going to have to score 10 to 20 points somewhere in that pump, in that uh, ratio to, uh, to win in the Cascade Palm Parks tournament. Um, looking at the tournament as a whole and the, uh, the conference, you got the top eight teams making it. If you had to pick the hottest team right now, you got Southern Oregon, of course, uh, pretty hot at the moment, but uh, Oregon Tech and College of Idaho right there as well. You know, Southern Oregon obviously I think is still the team to beat. Uh, they, they have a great team, great coach, and they can just, you know, they can do some things consistently better than some of the other teams in the conference. But uh, Oregon Tech is probably the hottest after coming off that win on uh, Southern Oregon. So I, Southern Oregon or, you know, Oregon Tech. But uh, our experience, I wouldn't count us out just because of our experience alone. You know, of course, uh, we've got three or four, three, three uh, four-year players that have, have been in this uh, same situation the last four years. We've got a couple, three years. I've been there, so I wouldn't count us out. But I, I think whoever's going to win it has to go through Southern Oregon. Well, uh, the team that's going to win it is going to have to go through Coin Coliseum. And uh, that's definitely a tough place to play. How is Coin Coliseum, you know, one of the best, actually the hardest places to play for another team? What makes it so special? Well, obviously our student body. First and foremost, most our student body. And, and that's athletes and not athletes. But I think of all the traveling we do, we have the most athletes supporting athletes. If it's the soccer team, if it's the football team, 
whatever whatever sport that's not playing that night or involved, they're there, they're involved, and you just don't see that. You see some students at other games, but you don't see all, you know you don't see Southern Oregon's football team at, at the men's game or the women's game. And I just think it's obviously the student body, and then the community is really rallied around us, buying those season passes and parents. But it's just our environment, our crowd. They get off their feet. They're a little rowdy. I don't know if we'd win a sportsmanship award with our crowd, but I don't know if that's important either. I, I, they're, they're college kids. They keep it under control. Nothing is, uh, I, our administration does a good job, and our security does a good job, obviously, monitoring their behavior. But they allow them to be college kids, and they come and they have fun. Uh, taking a look back over your career, and you got the postseason coming up, kind of a March Madness time. Can you uh, share with us one of your favorite postseason memories? Oh, wow. You know, as you're coaching, they all kind of blend together. I'm not going to lie. You don't ever want to date yourself. And so each year, you think it, it feels like your first or your second. And then you look back and go, wow, I've already been doing this eight years. But uh, honestly, one of, one of the most special memories was last uh, was Saturday night seeing Whitney out there. That, that, that will always be one of my top memories just because of what Whitney has brought to our program. But another, you know, great memory is our first season. You know, our first team, we, we had no expectations. We were coming off eight and 17 season. We went from the last place team in the conference to the first place in one year with only adding one person to the lineup. I And just the personality of that team, you had Trisha Haddock, Jamie Joe, Brooke Sellers. I mean, the personality alone, any of, Anyone that's watching this has an opportunity to know those girls. Well, I, I can't even define how they are. They just made it really special. Now, I know you don't like to look ahead, uh, but have you thought about what you're going to order at Payton Stage? Yet? You know, I always order the same thing. I, I'm uh, a creature of habit, and I'm sure I will have some ham and corn on the cob and baked beans. So I always order the same thing. I'm sure everything's good on the menu. But if I like it, I stick with it. <laughs> Women's basketball team will be, will be returning to Sioux City this year. And uh, Famous Day is always a uh, fun stop for them. Uh, one more question. Now, you got the writer's strike uh, going on on TV. Yeah. What episodes are you missing the most? Wow, what episodes are I missing the most? You know, college basketball is keeping me, not just our season, but I watch a lot of college basketball, men and women. And that's been keeping me a lot uh, real busy. But I would say probably Desperate Housewives. I am an avid fan of Desperate Housewives. I love the show. So on Sundays, uh, I kind of miss Desperate Housewives because that's how I unwind from the week. So, uh, you know, I hope they get back. It's over, right? I uh, guess. It's I over. But new episodes won't come until July. So I have a long time to wait. <laughs> Can't say that I watched too much of that. You know? What's your favorite show? I'm going to turn the table. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of The Office. Oh, the never seen it. Okay. Well, uh, we're actually going to get with uh, Coach Wiseflu next week as well, and uh, hopefully we're talking about a Cascade Conference Tournament Championship. I hope so. That's our plan. That's our goal. Okay. Well, uh, thank you, Coach, for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, thanks.